What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got some interesting news. As undefeated IBF super middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Caleb Sweethand Plant, 21 wins, no losses, 12 wins by way of knockout. He's 28 years of age. He stands at six foot one with a 74 inch arm reach. Last time we saw him in the ring was January 30th when he took on IBF mandatory challenger Caleb Truix and he got a unanimous decision victory. With that said, Caleb Plant has widely been linked to four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer who is currently the unified WBC, WBO, WBA, Ring Magazine, Super Middleweight, World Champion, Superstar Bassa, Saul Canelo Alvarez. With that stated, uh, Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez have been linked to a possible showdown September 18th for Undisputed. Canelo Alvarez, he just recently beat two undefeated two-division world champion who was the reigning WBO Super Middleweight World Champion, British Superstar Bassa, Billy Joe Saunders, and he did so in dramatic fashion, stopping Billy Joe Saunders in the eighth round, breaking his orbital bone and his cheekbone. That said, that was a unification bout. Billy Joe Saunders now has a loss on his resume, and Canelo Alvarez holds three belts and the ring magazine title. That said, Billy Joe Saunders was reported to have earned $8 million for the fight, and it's reported that the other unification bout with then undefeated WBA super middleweight world champion British superstar boxer Caleb Smith, that was for the WBA title, he received $5.5 million for that fight. And so Caleb Plant is looking at Canelo Alvarez, 56 wins, one loss, two draws, 38 wins by way of knockout. He's 30 years of age, stands at 5'8 with a 70 inch arm reach. And like I said, we just seen him in the ring against Billy Joe Saunders. That was May 8th. So the pot gets bigger each unification bout for Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant. He sees it and he wants his worth. He knows that Caleb Smith got a reported $5.5 million and that Billy Joe Saunders got eight. So now he's saying he can't receive anything under 10. He wants 10 or better. And obviously he wants shares. He wants stock in the live gates. If it's going to be pay-per-view, pay-per-view, he wants money on the back end as well. And so Caleb Plant, he understands that Canelo Alvarez needs this last piece to his legacy to form this puzzle. And Caleb Plant is the man standing in the way of his history for Canelo Alvarez and for the Mexican fan base as he will become the first four belt major belt holder at, at super middleweight and he will be do so to become the first Mexican boxer to do so as well to hold all four major sanction boxes. So Caleb Plant, he understands that Canelo Alvarez needs him. Now, obviously Caleb Plant, he needs Canelo Alvarez because where is he going to go to get this sort of money? So he's saying, I need $10 million for this fight. Everything is at stake. It's going to be for Undisputed. Obviously, he understands that Canelo Alvarez is the A-side going in, but he wants to be paid handsomely for his services and for his belt because essentially Canelo Alvarez is looking to buy his belt. Not that Caleb Plant is not coming to compete, but he's paying for his services because he needs that piece to the puzzle for his legacy, for history. And so Caleb Plant is using his stance very wisely and saying, I need 10 million because I'm a bigger name in the States than Billy Joe Saunders. I'm a bigger name in the States than Caleb Smith. And rightfully so, because he is. He's a bigger name than Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Smith here in the States. And obviously, the States is bigger than the UK. So with that said, 
he has a bigger fan base. So he's saying this is for Undisputed on top of it, and it could be on pay-per-view because Canelo Alvarez, he did a two-fight deal with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn and the Zone. So once again, since he shook free of Golden Boy Promotions and Oscar De La Hoya, he did uh, a one-off and then he did a two-fight deal with Matchroom and the Zone. He fought Caleb Smith, that was a one-off. Then he fought Abney O'Dirham, and then he fought Billy Joe Saunders. That was his two-fight deal. He did that purposely because he understands that Caleb Plant fights on PBC, Premier Boxing Champion with advisor Al Heyman, and he fights so on Fox. So he, he's on a different network. So Canelo Alvarez, he wanted to eliminate all the obstacles, all the hurdles that would stand in the way for him becoming undisputed and facing Caleb Plant. So now he's a free agent. He doesn't have to worry about his network and his promotional team doing business with Caleb Plant's network and promotional company. So Caleb Plant understands that this could possibly take place on Fox because if they're on the zone, it's not going to be on pay-per-view unless they do a split where uh, Fox has it on pay-per-view and then the zone has it on the zone. But that would be difficult to do because most fans like myself, I already have the zone. There's a lot of fans that already have the zone. So why would I pay for pay-per-view when I could just turn to my subscription with the zone and just watch it on there? Now I pay a monthly subscription, but I have the zone. So why would I pay what would more than likely be upwards of 50 to $60 when I could just click on my app? And watch it on the zone. So I'm hard pressed to see that. So maybe this fight takes place on Showtime. And if Canelo Alvarez wins, becomes undisputed, then his fights moving forward in the future are on the zone. He defends the title. Uh, let's say he defends the undisputed title. Should he beat Cable Plant? He defends it against, let's say, undefeated two time super middleweight WBC Mexican superstar world champion boxer David Benavidez. Now he's going to ask David Benavidez to bring his services to the zone. And there's nothing David Benavidez is bringing to the table outside of his talent and his name. So it doesn't have to be a split or a joint anything. Caleb Plant is a champion. So therefore, he's going to have to pay for his services. And they're going to have to work some out. But when it comes to David Benavidez, if he just wants to defend his titles against David Benavidez on the zone, well, then he could do so. So David ben, uh, Caleb Plant, in this situation, he understands that I have the leverage because he needs what I have. And he don't see himself going in any other direction. That'd be Canelo Alvarez. He's not going to fight Jamal Charlo. He's not going to fight David Benavidez without a belt. He needs Caleb Plant. And Caleb Plant understands and he's using his leverage very, very wisely. And he understands that this guy needs me just as much as I need him for his legacy and payday. He needs this belt. He doesn't need the payday because Canelo Alvarez is going to get a flat 25 to 30 million anyway. So he's not looking for the payday with Caleb Plant. He's looking for the belt and history and legacy what comes along with beating Caleb Plant. Not so much that Caleb Plant is a superstar, but what he has. And so Canelo Alvarez He's going to conform to Caleb Plant. I'm sure they're going to find a way to give Caleb Plant the $10 million because that's only $2, two million dollars more than what they paid Billy Joe Saunders and essentially for his WBO title. Two more million dollars for Undisputed is well worth it. I could even see Canelo Alvarez taking a $2 million pay cut out of his cut to give it to Caleb Plant to, make him, to give him the $10 million million dollars he's looking for make him happy because it's a legacy fight for Canelo. There's a lot at stake. It's historic. So Caleb Plant is standing on his square. He's saying, I need $10 million or there's nothing happening. And you can best believe that Canelo Alvarez is going to give him the 10. Because like I said, he gave Billy Joe Saunders eight and he gave Caleb Smith 5.5. So What's another $2 million for your history and legacy when you Canelo Juarez 
and you're already making 25 to 30 million dollars a fight anyway. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But make sure y'all hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all we got for y'all. Peace. Hey, man, you already know what it is, man. You watching Blue Blood Sports TV. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Squish Naive. Scrap it. The Prince of the South. Joe Face.